we are back with another mock draft video for you today this time with the ninth overall pick i'm excited to dive into this one but before i do if you could take a second hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you don't already and let us know what you think about the team we drafted in the comments let's get into it <laughs> We have the ninth overall pick. Let's dive right in and see what we can do. So I'm definitely thinking wide receiver in the first round, probably wide receiver in the second round as well, but we'll see how the players fall. It's on me and let's take a look at the wide receivers available. We got AJ Brown, CD Lamb that I'm looking at, and I'm gonna go with AJ Brown here, but I wouldn't fault anyone going CD Lamb. I think both of these wide receivers are pretty similar when it comes to fantasy. So I wouldn't fault anyone going CD Lamb, but I went with AJ Brown and it is back to me. And I'm going to go for another wide receiver here. We have Devontae Adams here, but I'm not really looking to draft Devontae Adams this season. I think with Jimmy Garoppolo, there's a good chance that he sees a dip in production this season. And it's not because of his play. I'm more concerned about Jimmy Garoppolo and the production that he can produce. So I'm staying away, but I am going to go with a wide receiver here. And that's Amara St. Brown. He's been really good for the Detroit Lions the last couple seasons. Really good in PPR format, so I don't mind drafting him. It's on me, and I'm going to go for a running back now. I'm looking at the running backs available. We got Travis Etienne, Jameer Gibbs, who I've been drafting Jameer Gibbs in a lot of these mock drafts. If you've seen already, you know I'm really high on Jameer Gibbs. So I'm going to switch it up here, and I'm going to go with Travis Etienne. I think there's a good chance that he's a big part of this Jacksonville Jaguars offense this season. Head coach Doug Peterson said that he looks at Travis Etienne as someone that could be a 1600 to 1700 yard rusher this season so they obviously expect him to be a big part of the offense so i don't mind grabbing travis Etienne, and it is back to me and let's take a look at the wide receivers available we got kelvin ridley still here and i really like kelvin ridley this season i think people are underestimating what this guy can do on the field i mean he was an elite wide receiver a couple seasons ago it's not like he was away from football because of some injury or anything it was obviously off the field stuff so i do think kelvin ridley is a good pick this season but it is back to me and i'm going to take a look at the quarterbacks available we got trevor lawrence here and it only makes sense to stack him up with kelvin ridley we have travis Etienne as well so i'm gonna go with trevor lawrence there and it is back to me and i'm gonna go for a wide receiver now i think and looking at the wide receivers available we got brandon Ayuk, michael pittman let's take a look at the tight ends available we got dallas goddard darren waller and that's who i'm gonna go for darren waller i think there's a lot of upside drafting darren waller this season he's on the new york giants now and I think there's a good chance that he becomes Daniel Jones' favorite target. I mean, they don't really have that elite wide receiver. And we know what Darren Waller can do when healthy. So I like taking a shot on Darren Waller this season. But it is back to me. Let's take a look at the wide receivers available. We got George Pickens, who I like. Uh, Jahan Dotson. So let's take a look at the running backs. Let's see if we can grab another one. We got David Montgomery, James Cook. And I'm going to go with James Cook. I'm really high on James Cook. I've been drafting him in a lot of these mock drafts think there's a lot of upside grabbing him this late in draft so and it is back to me and let's take a look at the wide receivers available we got Jahan Dotson, Traylon Burks, Quinton Johnston who I like, Brandon Cooks I don't mind him as well, uh, Gabe Davis, Zay Flowers and I'm gonna go with Zay Flowers I think he has a great opportunity to be the number one wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens so I don't mind taking a shot on Zay Flowers grabbing him in the eighth round here it's back to me and let's take a look at our team we have Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, James Cook, AJ Brown, Amara St. Brown, Darren Waller, Kelvin Ridley, Zay Flowers we need a defense and we need to fill our bench we definitely need to grab another running back let's see who's available no one that I feel like I need to go for right now. There's a running back that I'm going to grab probably in the next two rounds. So let's take a look at the wide receivers and let's go for Cortland Sutton here. I really like Cortland Sutton. I think getting him this late in drafts is a steal. The Broncos are dealing with a lot of injuries at the wide receiver position. I expect him to be involved in this offense. He wasn't that bad for fantasy last year either. So I don't mind grabbing Cortland Sun. And it is back to me. Uh, let's take a look at the running back. See if there's someone that I feel like I should go for right now. And I'm just going to grab him right now. And I'm going to go with Elijah Mitchell. It's back to me. And let's take a look at the wide receivers available. We got Sky Moore, Darnell Mooney, who I don't mind, Tyler Boyd. And I'm going to go for another running back. 
back, I think. And let's see, we got Tyler Algier, Dante Foreman, Kendra Miller, Tanks Bigsby, Ezekiel Elliott, Raheem Mostert. And that's who I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Raheem Mostert. I know there's a lot of hype around the rookie, Devin Kane, I think is how you say it. But I do think that Raheem Mostert will have a role on this team. So I don't mind taking a shot, grabbing Raheem Mostert here. And let's just get wide receivers to end out this draft here. And I'm going to go with Darnell Mooney here with DJ Moore on the Chicago Bears now. I think this is going to open things up for Darnell Mooney this season. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of tension on DJ Moore. So I do think that Darnell Mooney has a chance to outperform his ADP right now. So I don't mind grabbing Darnell Mooney here. And then we need one more bench spot. So let's go for another wide receiver. We got Romeo Dobbs, who I like, Nico Collins, Jalen Hyatt. DJ Chark, John Mechie, KJ Osborne, and I'm going to go with KJ Osborne, and we need a defense, and looking at the defenses available, we got the Steelers, Dolphins, Patriots, and I always go with the Patriots if they're available, so that's who I'm going with, and that's going to do it for us today. Honestly, not my favorite team we've drafted so far. Probably could have done a little better at the running back position, but overall, not too bad. Let us know what you think about the team in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next time, line them up.